السلام عليكم hello everybody welcome to our channel radiology interesting update previously we talk about ultrasound of normal lymph node today we will talk about sonographic assessment of lymph nodes it includes one dimensional assessment two morphological assessment three color and power doppler assessment when we talk about dimensional assessment of lymph nodes we have to talk about lymph node size and lymph node shape, cortical thickening and uniformity of cortical thickening. The size of the lymph node is defined by three diameters in two orthogonal planes. The length is the longest diameter of the lymph node in any plane. The depth is the maximum diameter of the lymph node perpendicular to its long axis, as seen in the picture. Rotating the probe 90 degrees clockwise, then the transverse diameter is obtained, but it is not measured routinely. B. Lymph node shape. The long axis to short axis ratio, LS ratio, also known as the length depth ratio, is used to define the nodal shape, oval or rounded, quantitatively. An oval or elliptical shape corresponds to a long axis that is at least two times greater than the short axis or LS ratio more than two. While metastatic lymph nodes are described as round with LS ratio less than two. C. Cortical thickening CM ratio The cortical thickness to medullary thickness ratio CM ratio is used to define the cortical thickening. The measurements are taken at the widest point of cortical thickening perpendicular to the long axis of the lymph node. The maximum thickness of the cortex is measured from corticomedullary interface to nodal border on both sides on the same axis. The medulla is measured perpendicular to the long axis on the same axis of C1 and C2. Absence of cortical thickening is defined when the cortex is thinner than the medulla with ratio less than 1. Cortical thickening is defined when the thickness of the cortex is equal to or wider than that of the medulla when both are measured on the same axis, CM ratio more than 1. So. The presence of coarse line is necessary for the measurement and definition of cortical thickening. In this case of lymph node with fibrotic changes, the medulla absent, so we can't access the cortical thickening. In case in which cortical thickness to medullary thickness ratio does not involve the maximum cortical thickening, the ratio can't be applied. For example, in this lymph node with clear focal thickening, the cortical thickness to medullary thickness ratio is less than 1. Make us consider the lymph node with no cortical thickening. So here, cortical thickness to medullary thickness ratio can't be applied. In this case, instead of the ratio, we should be attention to the maximum cortical thickening, the C-max, that is measured from the corticomedullary interface perpendicular to the nodal outer contour. The cut of C-max, which may be predictive for metastatic lymph node, needs to be defined later. D. Uniformity of cortical thickening. Measurements to assess the uniformity of cortical thickening, which is the maximum cortical thickness to minimum cortical thickness ratio, C-max, C-mean ratio, are taken on the same section as is used to measure cortical thickening. The lymph node is divided by its longest axis into two halves and the uniformity is assessed in each half separately. The thickest cortical diameter, C-max, and the thinnest one, C-mean, are measured perpendicular to the surface of the nodal capsule from the capsule to the corticomedullary interface on each side of the lymph node. Uniform cortical thickening is defined as C-max C mean less than 2 on both sides, while non-uniform cortical thickening is defined as C max C mean more than or equal to on either or both sides of the lymph node. 